Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another algorithms lesson. We are going to continue with Nazi Schneiderman diagrams. And last lesson, we just went through a single component, which is the process block. So each process block is a single action. So we have now conducted three simple actions and now breakfast making a program. So the first action was open the fridge door, then we take out the bread, then we let the bread defrost. Okay, so now we are sort of a little bit bored of just doing actions. So let's now make a decision. Let's get the computer to make a decision. So how do we do that? Well, we need a what's called a branching block, a branching block. So a branching block just looks like this, a rectangle with an upside down triangle uh, on top. So within the upside down triangle, you ask the computer a question. Okay, you ask the computer to evaluate a certain condition to see whether it's true or not. So the question we're going to ask the computer or ask the person to make a decision on is, is there any butter, peanut butter left? And then there are two possibilities. The answer is either yes or no. And you put them inside these uh, corners of your uh, shape. Okay, one in the bottom left corner, one in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, so what is the point in splitting uh, this rectangle into two is that now you can separate what you do next into two smaller rectangles. So if there is no peanut butter left, okay, if there is no peanut butter left, then what will we do? If there's no peanut butter left, I will put peanut butter on shopping list. Okay, put peanut butter on shopping list. And if there is peanut butter left, then I will spread peanut butter on bread. Okay, so something like this. So now I have asked the question. I've got the two possibilities written down, yes or no, as the answer. And then depending on what the answer is, it will determine what I do next. I either put peanut, but put peanut butter on the shopping list or I spread the peanut butter on the bread if there is some left. If there isn't, then I guess I'll have to buy it later. So there's my action. Okay, so there is uh, my first uh, decision block. Now you can either continue uh, doing things below this. So you can either continue with half boxes or you can go back to full boxes depending on how your program operates. So let's do a situation where we go back to full boxes. So I'm just going to say, eat the bread. All right, and that is concludes our uh, breakfast making routine. Uh, obviously, I'm going to go back and put more things on the next lesson, but there is our first branching block. And I'll put a little note here. This is called a branching block. whole reason of having a branching block is to evaluate a condition and conduct different actions based on the result. All right. The point of branching blocks is to evaluate condition. In this case, this question is the condition and conduct different actions based on the result. So if there is peanut butter left, then we do this. If there isn't, then we do this. Okay. But obviously, regardless of which option we choose, we will eat the bread. So if there is peanut butter, 
we will have the bread with the peanut butter. If there is no peanut butter, then I'm gonna eat the bread without the peanut butter. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.